I'm Jason Burrell, Project Engineer with RAND Engineering and Architecture, DPC, and I'm here to discuss an innovative repair technique we use to repair one of our masonry structures here in New York City. It is an innovative solution that hasn't been used very often, and it was great in this particular situation as it helped us repair an elevator shaft wall extremely quickly with minimal disruption to the residents. The project was located in East Harlem here in New York City and Rand was originally hired to evaluate facade cracks in the brick facade. Our evaluation consisted of installing crack monitors through which we learned that the cracks were increasing in size as time went on. After observing this we decided that a large retrofit would be needed and as we looked more into the structure, we found that the cracks were through wall cracks that penetrated through the facade and into the CMU structure behind it. Our original repair program specified complete demolition and rebuilding of the bulkhead walls where we saw the most damage. This included temporarily supporting the roof loads being imparted on these bearing walls and tearing down and rebuilding the walls. We were able to perform this at the boiler room bulkhead but found additional problems in the structure that were uncovered during the demolition of the elevator machine bulkhead. To repair the elevator shaft walls, we started with three options. The first, which would have been extremely expensive and was ruled out, was the complete demo and rebuild from the ground up of the CMU walls. Second, we considered installing reinforcing bars into the face shells one at a time, but again, the cost and the amount of inconvenience it would impart on the resident ruled out that solution. We came upon the final solution, which mitigated most of the concerns with imparting harsh conditions on the residents, in which we would drill from the main roof all the way down a core hole through the masonry blocks and install reinforcing bars that were grouted solid. We required that the contractor drill a 60 foot long vertical hole from the main roof level down to the foundation to install the new reinforcing bars. The hole was two and a half inches in diameter and was drilled using the dry core technique to minimize on potential damage to the interior finishes. So this is the finished product for the post installed in reinforcing bars. Here we have a nylon sock as they call it and the grout is injected after the re reinforcing bar is installed and once ejected, it inflates and then seeps through the sock and you can have some bonding with the actual reinforcing bar itself to the CMU block. So now you have the CMU block engaging the reinforcing bar whenever lateral forces are engaged in the wall. This repair solution minimized the time that the elevator was out of service. It minimized the disruptions to the residents. It also minimized the potential damage that any demolition work could have done to interior finishes and it minimized the soft costs as all of the structure and elevator infrastructure was able to stay in place throughout the project. For more information on this and other repair projects, visit us at our website at randpc.com.